In today's video, we're gonna create a whole song. I'm talking chords, bass, melody, verse, pre-chorus, bridge, all of that, all through Scalar 2. Let's get it. So this idea came from you guys. That's right, a new friend in the comments section wanted help coming up with a whole complete song through Scalar 2. So today we're gonna sync up three different Scalars. Plus, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty, come up with a verse, a pre-chorus, a bridge, all the parts we need to create a full song. And we're gonna have Scalar play the whole thing. If you guys are new here, welcome. I am Aloha Alex. Really quick before we start, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. It helps me get into the YouTube cosmic universe. So let's help people grow their mixing and production skills. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe for three new videos per week. All right, let's do it. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, I have one scalar that's going to be our chords, one scalar right here that's gonna be our bass line, and a third that's going to be playing our top melody. And this fourth is just a little simple loop for our drum track. I'm at 130 BPM. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Okay, great. Okay, so the chord progression that I picked out is one from the artist section, and it's MJ Cole, number one. So I was just kind of thinking of playing something like this. It's a nice, simple, chill loop. And in order to get Scalar to play this on a loop, we're gonna go ahead and drop it down into our pattern section. And then we're going to need to adjust the timing of these. So we're gonna come down to edit. We're gonna pick playback timing and I'm gonna make sure that this is going to be playing the correct length. So I'm gonna come over, change this to four, change the second one to two, and change the second one to two as well. Um, depending on your BPM, if you're using half time, so um, instead of 130, you have 65 BPM, then you're gonna to need to come over here and change this to a four beat rather than a two beat or vice versa. Um, so let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Nice. Perfect, all right, so let's go ahead and call that our verse. So now I wanna come up with a little pre-chorus. So let's come down and we're gonna hit this button right here on the left-hand side. That's gonna open up this whole section for us right here. We're gonna click this and we can come up with a second pattern. So now I can come up here and let's say I wanna to come to a different chord. Maybe I'll come Let's come to maybe I'll keep the same length. Let's do the same length as before. And I'll copy these over. So I want it to play twice. And maybe I'll have a little pickup note at the end. So I'll make this one bar and one bar. Let's take a listen to that. Keep watching because I'm about to show you how to route Scalar 2 into your favorite VST so it's playing all of your favorite sounds. Coming up next. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look now. Now that we can call this, this could be our verse. This can be our pre-chorus, and then let's just make um, the chorus the same as the verse. So we drop back into something familiar. So now we have our verse, 
we have our pre-chorus, we have our chorus, and then let's come up with a bridge section as well. I'm going to come back here into main. Let's find a chord. There we go. Maybe we can come to this chord. All right, so now we need to find the pattern for this. So let's hear it. Then we want to hold this one out. Maybe this one's go. Maybe three. Oh, there you go. Make these both three and both of those one. As simple as that we have pretty much our whole song laid out so now that we have the basic chord structure the basic chords that we're going to be using now we can sync those other two scalers together and we can make one designated for the bass and one designated for the melody in order to do that we're going to come over here to the little side panel we're going to look for this top tab that says session and then we're going to hit sync. And then it should tell you how many other instances are connected. So we'll put all these in there. Boom, now they are synced together. So I'm gonna come over to the second version of a scalar that we have here. Cool. Okay, now we're on our second scalar here and we're going to hit perform and we're going to hit bass and then we need to come down here and pick a bass sound let's see what sounds best with this style and then you need to come up with sort of the preset that will have the best sort of uh, bass tone and sound so let's take a listen As you can see right here we have all the same patterns and then you can just go through and pick whatever bass sounds best cool and then we'll do the same thing with our melody so we'll go ahead and open this third instance of scalar and this will be our melody so all we need to do now is the same thing, is just pick perform, come down here to melody. And if we wanna pick one of their preset sounds, we can do that. Otherwise we can route it to our favorite VST, which I'm about to show you in a second. I'll just pick something here for the demonstration. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to route these chords into your favorite VST so you don't have to use just the stock plug-in sounds. So in order to do this, and I'll just show you using one of these channels, is we're going to open up a new MIDI channel. And you can do this with any DAW, you can do this with FL or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and pick Serum for this demonstration. And um, let's just pick a sound here, just use this. And then in order to do that, you just select MIDI in from whichever 
scale scaler you want to use. So the first one are, is my chords, so I'll use this one channel. And then I'm also going to select scalar 2 right there. And let's go ahead and listen. I'll turn this one off so you can hear only the new sound. So uh, let me do that with the melody as well. So we got a new MIDI channel. Drop serum in there. Let's pick a cool little sound here. Do the same thing. So this one I want to select scalar. This last scalar right there and then pick scalar here. What can't this do? No, I'm seriously, 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 I'm asking, what can't this do? I don't know. So if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. I love doing the work. I love getting in there and figuring out how this scaler works with our DAWs and can keep us creating more music than we've ever made before. If you guys want a full breakdown on three different ways to come up with fire melodies, click on this video right now. I show you my three favorite ways plus one secret way to create super catchy melodies in under a minute. Come on in. The water's warm.